Kusor e Oscar Gunrath Hortiz. Esselamu ila Madrasiti Hortiz. Kaposi Hortiz Primary School. The Predator for Chester Hortiz. And the Nutia Hortiz. Hello, Beno Hortiz. Namaste Hortiz Primary School. Assalamu alaikum Hortiz Primary School. Bonjour et bienvenue à l'école de Hortiz. Hey, welcome in for Hortiz Primary School. Assalamu alaikum ila madrasa al Wuthais. Ni ha wura shasha khwayin hi. This is Wuthais Primary School in Sale, Cheshire. The school was built in 1938. There are now around 350 pupils at our school. This is our foundation stage. There are 52 pupils in our nursery and 45 pupils in our two reception classes. The pupils are aged 3 to 5 years old. They enjoy lots of different activities in a bright, cheerful environment. At lunch time she can either have a hot dinner or bring a packed lunch. Today I had ravioli, but I could have had chosen chilli or salad. My favourite is quiche and beans. We eat our lunch in the school hall. You can chat to your friends. I also like eating the hall because there's lovely displays to look at while you eat. With one small project in 1995 to brighten up the back of the school by painting murals, we began a journey in education for environmental education and awareness which has led us in all kinds of interesting and exciting directions. At Woodhaze, we provide our pupils with a wealth of opportunities to learn about sustainable issues like energy, water, transport, biodiversity, plant cultivation and global links. We try to practice what we preach, so in 2005 we installed a solar PV array on the roof of the school and we also encourage our whole school community to reduce, reuse and recycle as much as possible. The labyrinth is not a maze. There are no tricks to it and no dead ends. A maze is designed for you to lose yourself. A labyrinth is designed for you to find yourself. The labyrinth is used for healing, meditation and spiritual purposes. There is no right or wrong way to walk a labyrinth. Labyrinths engage a child's natural creativity. The garden will also provide a quiet place for the Wutes community in our busy lives. The writer of this poem is, is as normal as can be. If she has the right mind to, she can be all of these things so free and our free. The writer of this poem, his skin is soft as a feather. They love the name Heather and have boots made of leather. At Woodhaze, we provide our pupils with a wealth of opportunities to learn about sustainable issues like energy, water, transport, biodiversity, plant cultivation and global links. Hello, welcome to Woodhaze Wildlife Area. Here is the pond frog garden and we find lots of tadpoles and frogs here. And this is a scented tunnel and it doesn't look very lively at the moment but in the summer it has lots of flowers and it smells really nice to just walk under and all the sun's on it which makes it even better. This is the bench, um, as you can see it's been carved um, out of a real tree trunk. Um, it's really nice to sit here in the summer because you can just sit and read and take in the atmosphere and just chat with your friends really. This is the wood pile and it grows moss 
and this is where, if you like your tapper, insects come up. And this is the insect hotel. Actually, I think there's some here. <laughs> Okay, this is our outdoor classroom, and when it's nice and sunny, we like to come out here and learn about like all the wildlife areas. And stuff. I especially like it when we come out and listen to stories. And if it's about wildlife, you really get the atmosphere. This is a hibernation site, and we've got um, some hedgehogs hidden by some leaves here, but I don't know where they are. <laughs> it's actually over here, and we're just going to pull all the leaves up and see them, but it, we mustn't disturb them. Our children are also given many chances to take on roles of responsibility, such as paper monitors, energy team members, eco-monitors, junior local environmental officers, or junior road safety monitors. Every year, we also hold elections for our eco-school council. Pupils are often called upon to show visitors around our school or to give presentations in class or at assembly and this greatly increases their knowledge and confidence. Over the years, we have had the great good fortune to win various awards such as the RHS Green Fingers Challenge, the 2005 David Bellamy Award for Environmental Cleanliness, the Caterpillar Eco Award, and our work on energy has even given our energy team pupils the fabulous opportunity of meeting Al Gore, who presented them with an award at the Ashton Awards for Renewable Energy in 2007 at the Royal Geographical Society in London. Displays are bright and topical, reflecting the happy ethos of the school. In all sorts of ways, our school community pulls together as a team, reflecting our school motto, Together, everyone achieves more. The Afri Twin project links us with two very contrasting schools in Durban, South Africa, Gordon Road Girls School and Vumukushle and Zulu School. We have hosted visits from teachers representing both schools and have enjoyed meeting them and sharing good practice. Woodhays Primary School is a very special school with an outstanding reputation both nationally and internationally for our environmental and global work. We all approach each task with the words of our school motto in mind. Their effect is reflected in the dedication of the staff and the achievements of the children. Only my best is good enough for me. Together, everyone achieves more.